Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today we're going to take a look at how to hit out of a fairway bunker. It's uh, one of those things that you should avoid at all costs, but if you have to hit out of it, today I'm going to show you how. So if this is the first time to this channel, welcome. This channel is all about helping you play better golf and lowering your golf score. So consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I release a new video every single mo Monday morning at 9am Melbourne time in Australia. And as I said, every video is aimed at lowering your golf score. So fairway bunkers, they really are best avoided. In fact, if you see a tour player in a bunker, in a fairway bunker, in a game of golf, they've made a mistake. They've hit a bad shot, they've hit the wrong club, they really don't want to be in there in most cases. So avoid them like the plague. But if you have to play out of a fairway bunker, I'm going to show you some things that will help put the odds more in your favour. So the first thing that we need to think of when we're in a fairway bunker is we need to analyse how steep is the lip. So this is a very flat lip, there's hardly any lip there at all, so it really doesn't matter here. But if I had a bit of a steep lip here, the sort of process that I go through is, okay, if I was on the grass, what club would I hit to clear that lip? And if I think it's a seven iron, I will go an eight iron. Even though going an eight iron probably means that I'm gonna come up short of the green, I at least wanna play my next shot from grass. I don't want to play another shot from this bunker. So I've made a mistake by being in the bunker. I want to make sure I don't compound the error by trying to get and take too much off at a high risk. So I really want to make sure that when I'm here, bogey's going to be my worst option. So I analyze the lip and say, okay, I think I can get a seven iron over that. I'm going to hit an eight iron to make sure. So the second thing that I will do when I'm in a fairway bunker is I want to catch the ball a little bit on the thin side. So with all, the, all of these things in the fairway bunker are aimed at me catching the ball just very slightly thin, or that means picking the ball cleanly. I don't want to take much sand at all. So I would be trying to get my grip down the club a little bit more. So once again, that's going to mean I'm going to hit the ball slightly less, but by gripping down just about an inch or so, it just helps me to catch the ball slightly on the thin side, which is gonna help me get the ball out. If I hit too much divot, I may not get the ball out of the bunker. So I really do wanna get it on the thin side. So in addition to that, I also wanna make sure that I keep my ball position just a little bit more forward than what I normally would be. So normally on the grass, I'm about an inch forward of center. On this shot, I would be about two inches forward in my stance. Once again, that helps me to be catching the ball ever so slightly on the up. And if I can hit slightly on the up, not too much because we don't want to top it, but we do want to just catch the ball as clean as we can, that helps me in that process. The other thing I tend to do when I'm in the fairway bunker is I feel like I'm, I'm taller. So as I'm hitting the shot, I really feel like I'm, I'm keeping my chest high, I'm keeping my head high. There's a few various thoughts that I have, but it's just generally feeling like I'm standing a bit taller. Once again, I want to try and hit the ball slightly on the thin side, not on the fat side. I really don't want to take too much of a divot. I also make sure when I'm in these situations just to swing it a bit easier. So even though I want to clear the lip and I want, might want to think, well, it's a seven iron, I'm going to hit an eight, in a situation like this, where there's no lip, I might take another club. So if I think it's a six iron, I might hit a five iron, as long as I can easily carry that lip. So that will help to get me up closer to the green, and we'll see how I go. So the main thing is we're trying to catch the ball thin. So I grip down about an inch. I play the ball a little bit forward in my stance. And as I'm swinging, I'm just feeling like I'm trying to catch uh, or stay high, or just feel like I'm not dropping into the shot. We'll see how I go. So I've hit that cleanly, just pulled it a fraction, 
Didn't quite hit enough club and I've hit it into the green side bunker, but there's no problem there. You can see here I, I've barely taken a divot. I'm actually happy to be out and at least now I can get the ball up and down at best. Worst case, I'll get it out, two putt, and I've made a bogey. So there you have it. There's the things that you can do that are gonna help you succeed in getting your ball out of a fairway bunker. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.